Okay, so here we are by the water and the block wall. And I'll stop talking like Tom now. Okay, so this is five inch thick block, close to it. So if we do a C up here, oh, can't see what I'm doing. So it hooks here, up, over, and then down just as a hanger. One on this side, down. One on this side, down. Measure that here in a second. So we need a couple inches which will be on the other side, five inches across to here, and then off the ladder. And then where's the there we go. Thirty three inches to the bottom of the board. So it comes down, hooks under the board. Either two of those or hooks under the board comes across to the other side. Comes across to the other side. Let's see. And about 14 inches. So that would be. Up, over here, down, so clamp, clamp, like this, their side, five inches over the top, and then down, to the bottom here, 14 inches over, as a shelf for the board. So it would do this under. I can't even see what I'm doing. <clears throat> under. See my fingers touching the wall. And I'm wrapping around the board. So there's a shelf, metal shelf. Metal shelf under here, and then C clamp here to hold this on. C clamp here to hold this support on. Like, where's the C clamp? When I say C clamp, uh, that's what I mean. One of these. So the metal comes down, goes under the board. There's a clamp to the board. Then there's a shelf across. Shelf across. Where's that? Shelf across. Then it comes out. Comes around the board. C clamp to the board. So now the board will always stay on that shelf. And then this piece keeps going up. over and locks on the other side like a hanger and this will stay there until then
that's the permanent fix. Temporary fix can be a piece of wood. Fifty-three inches long. Fifty-three inches long. And I'll just go from here to the house and wedge it in across here, across here. Two of them, one there, just a piece of wood, same size, or one one piece like this, cut in half. And I'll take this piece, 53 inches long, go from here to here, wedge it in for force. Another one here to here, wedge it in for force, and that'll push this against the wall until the steel support is made and it might be so we'll have two arms one piece of wood here one piece of wood here and then the other side of this against the house the other side of this against the house and then if we really want to make that temporary brace stronger then like just a couple inches out one 12 inch piece of wood from this one I, don't, I can't <laughs> I need another hand so you got this one coming out like an eye to the house this board coming out to the house and then if you go right about to, to my thumb and attach this piece of wood to this piece of wood, 12 inches. So now we got like an H. But instead of being, you know, from here to here, halfway, and then across like an H, it would be from here across to here All right so you got 53 inches from here to the house 53 inches from here to the house and then come out two inches and 12 inches across to support those two pushing against pushing this against the black wall hopefully it all makes sense um, I think I got all the measurements. So it needs to be talking about the permanent, a piece of metal. We'll say four inches to a bend. That will be on the uh, neighbor's side. Five inches across across the top. To here and then and then 33 inches and that again thirty three inches to the bottom of this board metal shelf and then back up and then this this bar here would have a c-clamp now if we use flat iron instead of a bar like a rebar then you just put a hole in the in the flat iron and do a screw straight into the flat iron into the wood which will attach the wood to the iron that way like this so if it's flat iron instead of a 
bar, flat iron like this. You just do hole, hole, and same as here. Screw it here and here. Screw this side here and here, and do the same thing up, over, so it's hanging from the top. The reason for all that hanging instead of going into the block, look, this was glued. The glue is still attached to the block on the back of this wood. And the block itself is pulling apart from itself. That's why there's a cave there. That was flat. The rest of the rest of the rest of the block that goes in that hole right there was on the back of the board. I don't think I can get So the block's falling apart. There's no strength to going into this. This is a super cheap. If I brought, brought a nail out here, I can push a nail into this. Very, very soft. So we gotta hang it over the top. Anyway, hope that makes sense. I figured it'd be easier to try showing while explaining. And between the two, it might look a little logical. Alrighty, enough of this really ridiculous tutorial measurement question. Can you help me out with the water thing? Thanks.